Hi there. Welcome to this introduction to the Java 9 module system. Before we jump into modules, let's quickly take a look at how Java has worked before Java 9. So in Java we have the JDK, which is a bunch of useful classes that come with Java. And they have pretty much been bundled in this one jar called rt.jar. So if I say jar dash dash list dash dash file rt.jar, we can see, or rather let's look at it in less, we can see here that we have swing and maybe SQL. There we go, all the SQL types, connections, etc. And they all bundle together into this one jar. And if we look at the size of this jar, it's around about 64 megabytes, so quite a big thing to carry around. So one of the goals in Java 9 was to take this jar, all those collections of classes, and split it up into small modules. So I've got an image over here that displays the module graph. I will of course post the URL for this image in the video description. And if we see here at the bottom, there's one very interesting module where all the arrows essentially point to here. And this is the java.base module. So every module depends on java.base. And in java.base, there's all the things you'd pretty much expect, the java lang, the java utils, etc. And as we saw in the rt.jar, we saw SQL and swing together, but now we can see here there's a nice little Java SQL module. And if we look around here, there's a java.desktop over here. So it's nicely split up into nice small modules. So what is a module? Well, if we take a look at the basic building blocks in Java, it's pretty much classes and interfaces. And these contain methods and properties, right? And every class or interface belongs to a package. Now, even if you do not specify a package, the class or interface will belong to the so-called unnamed package. So now a group of packages can be bundled into a module. Now what a module can do is it can decide which packages it wants to export to which other modules and which packages it wants to encapsulate. So this is rather just a high level presentation taking a 100 foot view of what the module system is. In the next presentation we're going to go ahead and implement our very first module. Thanks for watching. See you next time.